What's up everybody, my name is Mark, and this is a video I've actually wanted to do for a while, and it's why I think you should screen your old 8mm film reels. And in order for me to effectively do that, I kind of have to tell you my story. I hope that's okay. About a year ago, I stumbled across my family's old 8mm film reels. It was right after my grandmother passed away, and being my last living grandparent, the discovery of the reels was motivated by a newfound hunger to know more about my family's past. And these 8mm film reels were the key to unlock that personal craving. Some of these reels were labeled, but most of them weren't. So there was a real sense of mystery in what I was going to find. And it was this sense of mystery that pushed me to do what I had to do to screen them. And let me tell you, what I did find was bigger than anything than I could have possibly imagined. Cue that piano. These films are like a portal into the past, as if somebody had taken your memories and splashed them onto the wall. To describe the feeling, it's nostalgia. To see my great-grandfather, who I had only known before in a series of photographs, how he moved, how he smiled, how he carried himself, was surreal. Seeing my grandparents as young parents and my dad and my uncles as kids was amazing for me. And I can only imagine what it felt like for them seeing this footage for the first time in 50 years. This was the way life was like back then. It's not some big historical event that everybody remembers, it's how you remember your own life. These reels were answering lifelong questions I've had about my parents and my grandparents, and that was, what was life like when you were young? I learned my great-grandfather loved to travel. He took a cross-Canada rail trip from Toronto to Vancouver, visited Lake Louise in Alberta. He was there when the Queen visited in Toronto, and saw the buildings at Niagara Falls go up. He took a road trip out east to Prince Edward Island and stopped at Peggy's Cove and at the Cabot Trail in Nova Scotia. He showed me what a plane ride to Florida looked like and was actually there at Disney World the year it opened. He showed me what a family Sunday drive in the fall looked like and parades, lots and lots of parades. And a trip to Chicago in 1964 revealed that people have been leaving the E off our last name for over 50 years. Seriously, the E is always left off. Holza! My hope is that by sharing my story with you, it will compel you to dig out these films and do what you have to do to screen them. Get them out of the closets, the basements, and the attics and put them in front of an audience who will appreciate them. On a personal level, these films in many ways have changed my life. They've given me a new appreciation for my family and a better understanding of myself. My only regret is not having done it sooner, so go out there and screen those films. Thanks for watching, guys.